Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Why Everybody Play series. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at one of the newer champions to the game, and that is Silk. Let me actually explain why she's in this category rather than all the other two. And that is pretty simple. If you have Silk, you already know, man. Silk is just so valuable, especially to players who are mostly engaged in Battlegrounds as well as Alliance War or even Alliance Quest actually. She has so much going on for her, a lot of utility and just you'll pretty much see by the end of this video. But like we always do with these kinds of videos, let's actually go over all of her abilities first and then later on discuss why everybody plays her. Incoming ruptures as well as slows on Silk suffer negative 90% duration and while she's dodging back, Silk cannot be struck by attacks and she also can't benefit from the dexterity mastery but each rank does grant her plus 200 critical rating. Onto her Silk sense, she has a 100% chance to evade special attacks and after triggering or when she's hit by a critical hit, the effect will then go on cooldown for 25 seconds or until the opponent is struck 20 times. All of her attacks inflict a physical vulnerability debuff for 1.2 seconds and the max stacks that you can have of these is actually 50. Her physical vulnerability debuffs are refreshed when the opponent is struck and are removed when the opponent activates a special attack or is knocked down. Now as for her heavy attacks, while she's charging it, if the opponent is within striking distance and is suffering from any of her physical vulnerability debuffs, she will inflict a stun debuff for 1.2 seconds. The first hit of the heavy attack will grant her a fury passive, increasing attack rating by a certain amount for 1.2 seconds, and the max stacks of these furies you can have is actually 3. These fury passives are refreshed when the opponent is struck and are removed when the opponent activates a special attack or is knocked down. But moving on to the special attacks. Special 1. The final hit deals a burst of physical damage, which obviously increases with the amount of furies you have. But yeah, the special 2. The first hit inflicts a Sunder debuff for 30 seconds, which reduces critical resistance to zero and prevents it from being increased. The final hit will also deal a burst of physical damage and she throws a trash can at the opponent. And last but not least, the special three. Knocking down the opponent with this special attack does not remove any of her active personal effects, meaning the physical vulnerability as well as the fury passive, and it also inflicts a stun passive for 4 seconds, and while the stun is active, the opponent will suffer minus 100% combat power rate, and silks will be increased by plus 100%. But moving on to the awakened ability. Striking the opponent with a heavy or while their back is against the wall will inflict a slow debuff for 2 seconds, and this slow will actually be paused while she has a personal fury passive, or while the opponent remains against the wall. And while this slow is active, during Silk's attacks, the opponent will suffer 10 to 150% regeneration rate. And that is it for Silk. Pretty much a short as well as basic sort of kit that she has. Silk doesn't necessarily bring anything new to the game, except for one thing that makes her truly special. But for now, let's actually move on to her attire. Oh my goodness, where do I begin? The outfit is the exact same as you would see it in her comics. However, I don't really like the black because the black is sort of plasticky and sort of bluish rather than a completely dark black, if that makes any sense. Her profile picture is, oh my goodness, wow. Um, the second thing I actually don't like about her is sort of her stance. She's standing like a robot, which yeah, it makes sense since it's a game and it's a game character. However, her movements seem too static, should I say. 
If we take a look and compare it to a character like Hercules's, his seems more sort of humane and, and he kind of looks like he has life or something. I don't really know how to explain it, but yeah, that is sort of just a me problem, but other than that, she's pretty much solid. I know Titania's is bigger, but oh my god, I just can't. But anyways, moving on to the topic of why everyone plays her. Now, I do believe that once you pull Silk, she'll pretty much be of great value to your account. She has a lot that she provides in the sense that her one major key difference compared to all the other science champs is that she can evade all special attacks, ex except for special three, of course, you can't run from that. Her ability to pretty much just make man gog special to nothing as well as special attacks that you just can't really dex or this one ability pretty much makes her one of the most safe as well as just best characters in the game in terms of playing them comfortably now that's just one thing but the second thing is that her damage is not bad at all at higher ranks as well as when you actually play her aggressively and sort of start building those physical vulnerabilities, she is going to hit like an absolute truck, even though her truck is not the biggest of- okay, no, I'm sorry. The third thing that pretty much makes her stand out is the slow debuff that she actually has. Now this pretty much makes it so you pretty much want to have her awakened in pretty much most of her fights, because the slow definitely will come in handy when facing most of the mystic matchups the slow debuff also has a ton of utility in the sense that you can pretty much heal reverse with it like crazy and the heal reversal at sig 200 you can pretty much just melt down the opponent with just this alone which bro she already had enough utility but the slow pretty much just makes her that much more busted she doesn't really bring anything new to the table because science champions were already able to dex special attacks, only unblockable ones, but hers pretty much just broke the scale completely. I honestly can't tell you how good she is because you pretty much just have to try her out for yourself. As well as, oh my goodness, oh just- I would even go as far as to say she's in the top 5 best science champions. That's how good she is, that's how good her utility is. And because she is a 7 star, her usage is only gonna be going up from here. She doesn't necessarily have any problems. Does she? Nah, I don't think so. Except for the posture thing where she stands like a robot. No one stands like that, man. And also her ending screen. Why is she doing all that? Like, bruh. And look at the pose she hits right here. Oh my goodness. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments who next I should make a video on. And uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.